Hello, welcome to this nice question. You are told that uh, the distance S moves moved by a particle along a straight line is represented by this equation. You are to find the velocity at t is equal to at t is equal to two seconds. So velocity is given by differentiating displacement with respect to time. So in differentiate this 7 differentiated will give you 0 plus 8 t squared differentiated will give you 16 t minus when you differentiate 3 t squared it will give you a minus 6 t squared. So this is the, the velocity now of the equation after differentiating uh, this one. We differentiate it term wise because this is a polynomial. So when you have a polynomial and you are going to differentiate it, you differentiate it term wise. Uh, fact number two is that when we differentiate displacement with respect to time, that gives us velocity. Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement per unit time. So the rate of change of displacement per unit time gives you velocity. So I have differentiated this term here term wise. So seven differentiated will give you zero. Uh, 8t squared differentiated will give you 16t minus 3t cubic differentiated will give you uh, ne negative 6t squared or well, now to differentiate find in my youtube channel where I have covered a number of questions pertaining differentiation in simple method steps and we are going to study together in this simple uh, method uh, step so now the question requires you to find velocity at so ds over dt at t is equal to 2. So you come here and substitute the value of t. So you have 16 into bracket 2 minus 6 into bracket 2 squared. So velocity is equal to 16 times 2 will give you that the 2 minus 2 squared is 4, 6 times 4 will give you 24, which is equal to, so that 2 minus 24 will give you 8 meters per second. So that is the velocity at t is equal to 2 squared. Uh, in the case, so all what you need to do it is to differentiate this equation uh, with respect to time. And when you differentiate a constant, the value will be 0. You differentiate 8, which will give you 16. You differentiate this one, which will give you a negative a 6 t squared by power root. Then you substitute these values which are given here, and you obtain your answer in this simple uh, method step. In case you are going to get the acceleration, note that A will be given by derivative of v with respect to to time because the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time although the question didn't require you to do so but maybe next time that is what you will be asked to do so thanks so much for your time for more such learning kindly tune on to my youtube channel so that you may learn together any question any query i will be more than willing to tackle it for us so that we may keep on uh, learning uh, together. Thanks so much. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly consider to do so, so that we may continue uh, learning uh, together. Bye bye. See you in the next presentation as we keep on uh, learning.